Aquarius, welcome back to White Crow to Row. This is your next 48. Guys, a look at your energy over the next 48 hours. Welcome back, returning subscribers. Hold the phone. <laughs> This is your look, a look at your energy over the next 48 hours, but also I try to get a little bit more specific and get a detailed time frame of when we really could be looking at this energy. All right? So, get a detailed time frame for you, Aquarius. Guys, do be sure to leave a like on the video. Right over there. <laughs> like, right there. Mm -hmm. While you're thinking about it, Aqua. Okay. Also, smash that subscribe button if you want to be notified. Smash the bell, you know. All that jazz. Help grow the community around here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Swear to God, sometimes one of your videos, I'm just like, gosh, if everyone just, like, liked the video off of one video, you know? Anyway, what do we got coming up? What's the time frame we're looking at for Aquarius? Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we have seven, seven days or seven weeks. Determining the circumstances. That could be like a Wheel of Fortune. Determining the circumstances. Seven, seven. Also, we have six days or six weeks. Seven and six. Enjoy time. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. Seven and six could be significant to you. The seventh day of any given month. The sixth day of any given month. Also, we have 12 underlined. It is going well now, 12 days to 12 weeks. So seven, six, 12. So by the end of the year, is when I feel like 12th could also be like December, is when we should see this energy playing out for you. Okay. Good spirits, benevolent beings, let's get a clear and accurate story for Aquarius. Help Aquarius know what they need to know for their highest good over the next 48 hours. As it were, what's coming towards Aqua? My Aqua gang, what's coming towards my Aquariuses? Aqua. Show me clearly. Can you jump up, please, for Aquarius? Show me clearly. Wealthy man. Immediately I heard sugar daddy. What's that about? <laughs> Aqua. <laughs> oh, Lord. Or you could be dealing with like a Taurus or something. Oh, boy. Something to do with occupation and work. Also, three and four break down to seven. Hey. <laughs> Ooh, hello, don't bend. Okay. Oh, no. No, no. Something at work. Work situation? Or you're coming into a lot of money? Got a lot of money? Could be dealing or talking to a very wealthy person. Sure. All that's possible. On my channel, here at White Crow Tarot. <laughs> we have courthouse. Something official. Mm -hmm. Documents. Oh, boy. Message of concern. Number 14. I think you're making something official. Something about your business you're making. You're maybe starting a business. Okay. Where you will be by the end of the year. You will be an official business. Okay. Yeah. It's really taking off for you. Mm, great. I love it. Okay. Yeah, there you are. To the point. The star and the queen of cups. Hello. 
Aqua, there you are. The star to the Queen of Cups. All right. Well, that's lovely. The long-term vision and the dream that you put a lot of emotion into, a lot of thought into. You're very emotional about it. You can be all up in your feelings about it, as a matter of fact. Oh, you're getting in touch with your cup. I know sometimes you like to look at your emotions, Aqua, but you don't like to touch them necessarily. You can look at them, kind of peek at them and watch them, but you don't want to touch them. In other words, you don't want to feel what you have going on. But you as an air sign, you can do that. I know, guys. I'm a Libra, by the way. You're a Libra cousin here, by the way. Okay. If I don't want to touch those emotions, I ain't touching them. I ain't touching it, though. That's what that's what that's what Ace Ventura said. No spank you. I ain't touching it though. <laughs> I ain't touching it though. No, no. Mm -mm. There you are again, honey. The fool taking the leap on yourself, but you are touching it this time though. Or it's touching you. It's like you don't touch it, but it touches you often. Who said that? Stanley Kowalski. I am getting all these movie references in my brain. We jump from Ace Ventura to a streetcar named Desire. What the hell? It's like, he doesn't drink. He rarely touches it. Yeah, but it touches him often. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, I rarely touch the stuff, but it touches you. Okay, someone drinks. Okay, I gotcha. Anyway, it's a new beginning for somebody. You put it down, I feel the need to say. You're not doing as much of it. Okay. You got a lot of abundance you're sitting on here. Yeah. Hold the phone, spirit. Yeah, you took time to heal that situation. Sure did. Temperance, yeah. Mm -hmm. It took time. Sure did. A lot of patience, too. And not without some shadow work to go on here as well. Like Seven of Wands, you felt you were defensive even to having to make the decision in the first place, having to feel like you needed to change anything about yourself or to examine your cup. Emperor. Okay. But justice here was had in this situation. Let me know if you're dealing with the Libra. Okay. Possibly even a new contract over the next 12 days to 12 weeks or the next seven days or the next six days. Six weeks, seven weeks, but by the end of the year, you will have completely entered into a new contract, possibly even by Libra season, and you will be ready to take action, Four of Swords in reverse. Yes, that's why you're doing all this cutting now, Aquarius, so that you can take action. No better, no better time to take action than in an air sign kind of similar to yourself. Yeah? Libra sign is Libra time is a lovely time, although we do have Mercury retrograde going on right now. So don't sign any new contracts until after Mercury retrograde. Okay, beautiful. Courthouse, right? It is official. Don't do it till after Mercury retrograde. Don't make it official until after the fact. You don't want to do that. Okay, but it will be prosperous, honey. Queen of Wands. Oh yeah. You go fly, honey. You're going to become like an influencer. You're doing something online. You're doing, um, I just heard affiliate marketing. Cool. Affiliate marketing. Something entrepreneurial. A queen of wands. Very much entrepreneurial here. Okay. Beautiful. Running your own business. Possibly online. Okay. Okay. Knight of Cups and the Devil in reverse. I think you're putting out down these toxic ways, Aqua. I feel like you're going to put it down. You're not offering your love to the Devil anymore, right? You're not offering your love to Spirit, <laughs> the Spirits, right? No, no. No, we're really slowing down here, okay? Sunday, June 20, Sunday, June 21, Sunday, June 22nd. He had a date for every day of the week that week, didn't he? He sure did. It's that little knight. Not sure why it's relevant to the Queen of Wands, though. Oh, yeah. The dating. Dating. You were dating. Someone was dating here. Dating. 
too much, too much data, too much, too much, too much. There was the burden that you're releasing, right? It was also kind of like someone did it to themselves. Like Ten of Wands in reverse here. You want to drop this particular burden? Like who has time to date or to mix up with energy that doesn't even know what the hell it wants when you have a future to look out for here? Okay. Yeah, for sure. Also, Ten of Wands in reverse. Like you're dropping it completely. But also, it's kind of like they're just watching him go down. You know, they're not exactly trying to save him. Maybe he did it to himself. Who knows? But they're, or they're being a watcher, a watcher you surrounded yourself by. Maybe they tipped him over the boat intentionally, you know? They're not exactly trying to save him here. They're watching him go down. He could get out, though. Some people do that to themselves. Some people, and that's kind of the essence of the Ten of Wands, right? With the devil, we can carry our own, bird, our own burden indefinitely. We do it by choice. It is the burden of choice, right? Indefinitely. So however long you want to carry it is how long you're going to carry it, right? With this toxic energy around you. It's your choice, in other words. Don't go blaming a Capricorn necessarily, although Capricorn could very much be involved here. <laughs> I don't know. But the point is, when you recognize who the devil is, you can't blame anybody else but yourself. The devil to the point here. I guess you did want to come out, huh, Cap? Yeah, don't overthink that issue. You see how fast, like, like a toxic cycle can repeat itself the moment you give it just a little bit. So be careful about that. All right. Or you're obsessed. It's very obsessive, obsessive quality here. You're obsessed with what you do, but it needs more thought or time or attention. You need to free yourself from this mental prison. Okay. Advice please for Aquarius. You will be. Yeah, be yourself. Be yourself, the star. Be yourself, honey. Go after the dream. I know it's far away. It's long-reaching. It's it's the star, for crying out loud, you know? But a dream is a wish that your heart makes, and you made it a long time ago, and you are touching the water. She is actually touching the water. She's getting in touch with her emotions. She is finding out what she wants. Some of you scry. I just heard you, you scry. Very cool. You scry. All right. Keep doing it. Keep working it. You need to look at something and free your mind of something that you're not seeing, but you will. You will. I feel like you're maybe even going to have an elevation. Be careful. You can cloud your vision. Especially if you drink too much. Let's get a moon energy on this for you. Whoever needs to hear that. Aqua, I'm not accusing you directly. Please do know that. But there's someone I'm talking to who needs to hear that. Okay. You're very close to achieving your goal, Judas Moon. Any messages, please, for Aquarius? Surrender to the Divine. Full Moon. We do have the Full Moon in Pisces going on tonight, or at the time of me recording this video, so go outside and check it out. Hopefully I'll post this in a timely manner for you to see it. Alright, it's time to release negativity and you some of you have been really holding on to it okay full moon in scorpio it's time to release negativity aqua let it go honey it ain't worth it they're not worth it no no nope. aquarius this is what i have for you i hope you enjoyed that do let me know down in the comments talk soon